broadcasting. What's up, guys? Uh, got no viewers yet, but uh, this is my first live stream. I'm sure some people will get in here pretty soon. Um, let's see. I know there's got to be a chat room. I don't see it, though. I got three viewers. What's up, guys? Sorry. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing this, so you'll have to give me a moment here because I'm still kind of figuring things out. I uh, have not got a chat room up and going yet. Let me see here. Invite people. Turn camera off. Settings. Where is the chat room? There it is. Let's see what happens here. All right, let's see if this works. Got, uh, what, 16 viewers right now? Uh, if anybody can just uh, send, send something in the chat just to make sure that my chat is working, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm already up to 18 viewers. That's awesome. 21 viewers. So guys, I do have uh, some dimes that I'm going to start going through here in just a second. I'm just trying to get everything set up and I'll get started. And if you guys have questions for me, uh, please use the chat room if it's working. I haven't seen anybody uh, chatting yet. So. Hmm. Not sure what's going on. Still not seeing anybody in the chat room yet. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. I'm going to try and fix something here. did sorry guys having technical difficulties give me one second here still trying to figure this out I don't even know if I'm still alive let's see uh, So, on snacks is going to help me out here. I don't know what I did. I, I really don't know what's going on. Oh, there it is. Okay. So why can't they get on the chat? Hang on. Well, your chat's going. Yeah, but nobody's yeah, chatting. Yeah, they are. You just can't see it. Got 28 guys. Sorry, guys. I do have coins here to go through. Just give me a second. I'm just trying to figure out the chat room uh, because I'm not seeing anybody chatting yet. I'm just trying to see if it works. So if you are out there, please uh, throw something in the chat room for me and see if I can see it. And it might just be that I can't see it yet. Did you get to the chat room before? It was over on this side, right there. Okay, click it. Click. Enter chat message or link here. What's this? 
choose links. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, it's got me putting something in there. I'm looking at it online. People are chatting. They're chatting? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, guys. So he's saying that he can see you guys chatting on his. Uh, he's linked up, too. I just can't see it yet for some reason. I don't know why. Did you see the chat that I sent or the message no. I sent through? So my chat's not working for some reason. Start over. We'll try to figure it out as we go along. All right. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, start opening up some dimes. Uh, he's going to try and work on that for me, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully figure it out. And I'll hopefully get to answer some questions for you guys. that down hopefully you guys are finding some cool stuff out there um, I haven't found a whole lot this week uh, I, I would tell you what it's not for lack of trying because I have opened a ton and, and I'm serious like a ton of coins so boxes and boxes and boxes of stuff this week a lot of cool uh, uh, I've done a couple like uh, penny boxes, found some really cool like century old uh, Wheaties, stuff like that. Um, I did find some silver, actually. I did find some half silver half dollars this week. So it hasn't been all bad. And uh, hopefully we'll find something else. Go through a few rolls here. So why don't you guys at least chat with yourselves for now? While I figure, while we figure this out, everybody get. Uh, I really want this to be like a something where we can all like hang out and just like talk about what we found, uh, what you guys have found. It's just kind of a, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun for everybody to get to know each other, and I don't know. Thought that'd be awesome. Let's see, I'm gonna pull this light over a little bit, guys. I don't know how much this is gonna blow blow out the. The board here. I don't think it's going to be that bad. My eyes are pretty bad. Uh, I actually have really good vision, but these little tiny dates like this are really hard on my eyes for some reason. So I have to use the magnifying glass. And right now, I'm not seeing any silver. What is that? Let's see what this is. 1965. Missed it by one year on that one. I got a couple boxes of dimes I'm going to go through this week. Uh, maybe do one uh, later tomorrow. I've got a couple boxes of halves ordered. That should be awesome. There's a 1968. Just missed it. All right. I don't see anything else in this roll. I'll move on to another roll. So if you guys, I, I know I've talked about it before, but get yourself a mat like this because it makes makes doing this so much easier. All I have to do now is go and just dump it. It's so much easier. All right, I'm going to grab another roll. And we'll go. Oh, boy, I just heard something. My audio and my, oh, I can see, some, I'm starting to see some, uh, some chat, live chat here. I'm not sure what I, what happened. Uh, let's see. What's that? Just leave it alone for a second. Okay. So I'm seeing Cynthia Richards, uh, Matthias Scarilla, Joe Compton, Eddie CRH, Silver Gator. Silver Gator says dumped into the trash. Not quite. So I dumped it into my, uh, I have a bank bag that, uh, that holds about, I don't know, I could hold probably a couple thousand, I guess, if I, if I had half dollars in it. But uh, I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty insane. So it looks like I have some sort of a delay. And I think that's why. Oh, my God. I can't even pick this up. Oh, holy crap. That thing's heavy. This is my bank bag. And as you can see, it's huge. Like that. Th this thing probably weighs uh, probably upwards of like 60 pounds right now. It is heavy. Uh, and it's probably only, there's probably only like, I don't know, maybe two and a, 
200, 300 dollars in here in coins. This is everything that I've been going through this uh, this past couple of days actually, because I just dumped this like literally two days ago. So I mean, I go through thousands of dollars and stuff. Oh, oh. holy crap, that's heavy. Oh. All right, back to this. <sighs> What's up? A, I, I don't know how to say that. Is it Stike? Stike? I think it's A Stike. What's up, Stike? Love the vids, man. Keep them coming. Thanks, Eddie. I appreciate it. How many boxes of coins do you go through a week? Uh, that's a really good question because it depends. Uh, just depends on my bank and how quickly they get them. Uh, because sometimes I'll order, order stuff and they just don't get it and I don't know I don't understand why but I don't know if they just have a problems getting uh, stuff here in Clearwater uh, Florida but I usually go through at least a box a day uh, if I can sometimes more sometimes two boxes sometimes three boxes uh, today I've only gone through uh, I went through a box of half dollars and let's see what else I went through um, going through dimes, of course. Uh, yesterday, I went through two boxes of pennies. So, I mean, it, it just depends. Let's see. Sorry, I'm going to try and keep up with everybody here, but there's a lot of questions flying across the screen. <laughs> Great shirt, dude. That ear to ear. That's awesome. Thanks, ear to ear TV. Uh, it's the dude. It is an awesome shirt. Let's see. Cynthia Richards, I save vids to reference later for coin hunting all right let's see what we got silver gator they suck <laughs> my bank won't give give boxes to me oh yeah you know what? i actually am going through that with uh chase bank right now uh the one literally right across the street from me which would be the easiest one to go to um they are giving me such a hard time they won't give me any boxes anymore they don't even want to accept rolls of coins from me anymore. Uh, I've actually complained to their manager, and he doesn't really seem to to really want to help. So I don't know what else to do with that, uh, other than I I did a survey on them and gave them really bad marks. Uh, I see a 1967. Uh, there's a 66. I'm hoping I find something out of all these. I I think I've got about like maybe uh, 150 in dimes right now, <clears throat> but I don't see anything else in this roll. So we'll go ahead and dump these. Let's see. I just subscribed to you. Thank you. Very awesome, dude. I'm loving all the subscribers. This is it's been amazing. Um, I could I can't believe how fast this channel has grown and I hope it continues to grow and I hope it's a place that everybody can come and just have fun and uh, find some awesome stuff 1967 plane date thanks for the interest I didn't see it. sorry I missed that uh, found my first silver half yesterday 1967 plane date thanks for the interest Jesse that's awesome I'm glad you found your very first one um, I, I can actually remember when I found uh, my first one, at least since I've just started again recently. I've, I've found them in the past when I was a kid, and I just kind of stopped doing it. And uh, recently uh, started watching videos about five, six months ago, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to order a box of halves, and I went out, and we did. And uh, me and uh, Grant, who, a.k.a. Snacks, if you guys watch the videos, you know who Snacks is. So we, we were going through our very first box, and I was, like, freaking out because I was finding – I found, uh, well, I think it was, like, three Benjamin Franklins, and I don't know. It was, like, it was somewhere around, like, 17 or 20 silver half dollars in our very first box, uh, and it was so much fun, and uh, I was so excited, and I, I was hooked again. So that's why – that's what kind of got me started again. What bank do you get your coins from? I do get them from Wells Fargo. Uh, I do get them from other Chase banks, uh, but mainly Wells Fargo and Chase. So uh, Chase only because uh, I've been banking with them for a while. So I'm actually thinking about going to Bank of America because uh, 
their system is actually pretty nice uh, the way they set it up. Um, let's see, oh, there's some newer ones in this one for sure. Uh, Bank of America has a, a thing now where you can order coins from them and send them back in a bag and they just deposit the bag for you. So they don't, they, it doesn't bother them at all anymore uh, to do that. So it just makes it easy for you, easy for them. The bankers aren't mad at you. Um, it's just a really cool setup. So let's see, go through some of these real quick since I'm doing a lot of talking and not much hunting here. I should have did pennies because at least pennies, there's always something to find. What is that right there? Let me see what this is, guys. That looked kind of silvery. Nope, not quite. Two. I was hoping, you see, even on camera, it looks a little whiter than the others. I was hoping that I would be able to look uh, on camera because it seems like whenever I'm watching uh, on camera on my own videos, I can see the silver better than what I do in in person. I don't know why that is. I do have I am colorblind, so I don't know if that what you know if that makes a difference. I don't know. <clears throat> um, Mattia, you says I love your channel. Thank you very much. I, I hope everybody's enjoying it. Uh, let's see what else what else we got going on here. Oh, my chat slowed down. Let's see. Uh, what's the penny that has the errors? 2016 or 12. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that. I'll be honest. Um, I, I know t uh, 2016 does have some errors, uh, but it's <laughs> shout out to snacks. That's awesome. Um, 2016, pretty much any uh, any of those new years with the shields, uh, you're looking for die cracks, uh, cuds, and things of that nature. Um, I don't know exactly what the the actual errors are right now. Uh, without having, you know, I look everything up just like everybody else. I, I'm by far not the the greatest uh, coin collector out there. Uh, it's all about getting on the internet and looking stuff up and uh, finding and you know, kind of using the resources that you have to to find out what's what people are finding out there. And you, you know what? I've actually found errors that were not published yet. I actually, when I was a kid, I found a, a, a I believe it was a 1938 Jefferson nickel. And on the reverse, there was a double die. And I took it to a coin shop, and they had no clue that there was such a thing. And I showed it to him, and he was like, you're right, it is doubled. Uh, <laughs> I ended up selling it for $25, and this was back when I was a kid. So that was my very first... Uh, error coin that I ever found. I should have kept it. I don't see any silver in these dimes. I'm going to go ahead and dump them and grab another roll. But uh, So that was my very first error coin that I ever found. Soup Dragon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Thanks, Paul. Keeps buffering on my end. Sh Cheryl Bussman. Uh, Michael Purdue, most banks only sell boxes to members. That That is true. Uh, for the most part, I think uh, if you're going to do some bankroll hunting, you definitely want to get a bank. Uh, and I would do some research on the bank, make sure that they're cool with uh, getting the boxes for you, and uh, see if they're make sure they're re uh, cool with you returning them as well. Because a lot of them will tell me, you know, hey, we'll give you the boxes, but we don't want them to come back, so they want me to take them somewhere else. So a lot of the boxes I get from Chase, I end up returning to like Wells Fargo. Uh, so just uh, just talk to your bankers and they'll let you know what's up. They're, most of them are pretty cool for the most part. Actually, I've developed a really good um, relationship with some of the girls at Wells Fargo. And some of them, I believe, are watching my channel. Uh, what to do with all the copper? What else but melt them down for ammo? Um, right now, I'm, I'm hoarding all my copper. I have about four boxes of copper um, and it's growing exponentially um, copper is I, I think it's going up right now um, so I'm hoping that it'll continue to keep going up uh, once it says that you can melt them down you know obviously I think that would be something I wouldn't mind trying to do because I really want to try some pouring 
uh, I was really wanting to like melt down some copper and and uh, pour some like little artworks and stuff like little get some like Star Wars figures and I don't know if you guys watch uh, there's a guy that I watch called the bear and he's uh, he does silver pouring and he'll melt down silver and then he pours it into molds and makes these cool action figures and like art pieces and all sorts of cool stuff and I was like well if he can do it with silver why can't I do it with copper so I thought I'd, that would be something fun to do uh, but found out you cannot do it because it is illegal to melt uh, coins down so for now I can't do it but I am going to hold on to that copper for a while because I am pretty positive that's going to go up in the future just like all Precious metals, they all seem to just keep going up and up and up and up. Uh, so even though silver is down right now, it'll go back up. I'm not worried about it. I'm holding on to all my coins right now. Um, I don't plan on selling any of them unless I sell them for a premium. I do have some, a party interested in some of in some of the, uh, the Benjamin Franklins that we had found that were like brilliant uncirculated. They are uh, really, really nice, and uh, I've got a guy that, that is interested in buying them for like, uh, I think it was $15 a piece. I don't know if I want to sell them yet, though, so I, I'm i just kind of holding on to them. I think, I think uh, silver is going to continue to go up. I have to go to Publix, which is a grocery store, to count up my coins. Dalton. Dalton, I, uh, I go to Publix a lot, actually, and that's where I score a lot of good silver. Uh, Walmarts, I score um I'm trying to think so many other places I, i'll try anywhere that that uh that uses money anytime you do a transaction you should be asking that person uh if they have half dollars because i've scored half dollars in some of the most random spots uh gas stations is a big thing um let's see what else uh like the cash till payday loan places uh, there's there's just so many different places you guys can go to score half dollars and uh, find silver. I got bored hoarding copper because I have almost $500 and I am still in high school. So 500 is a huge amount of money to me. I, I hear you. I, I, I'm kind of in that same boat because I have a ton of it already. But man, it, when I think about it, it's only a couple bucks uh, per per box. And uh, I think I can afford to save a couple bucks every week out of a box of pennies uh, for the for the copper. Um, and you know what you can also do is look on eBay. Uh, maybe even try um, another thing. I'm getting ready to start trying is uh, uh, Craigslist. Uh, there are people that go on Craigslist and they're interested in purchasing. Uh, coins and collectibles and and i'm sure there's going to be some people there looking to stack uh silver copper stuff like that so you might be able to go on there and sell it um uh, for you know you won't have to worry about uh value fees or anything like that just make sure if you are going to use like uh you know Cra uh, craigslist you, you know have somebody with you somebody that you know has your back because you just never know the people that you're dealing with on there i have used it in the past and i've always had a good uh transaction with people but i have heard of people having bad transactions so just be careful on that let's see what we got here let's see if we got any silver i didn't see any but i always double check you i know you guys probably watch me when i'm doing the half dollars like i don't flip through them real fast like everybody else does i just take my time because i I'd hate to miss something. Here's a 1965. Missed it by one year. All right. I don't see anything in this one. We're going to go on to another roll. <laughs> the coin safe? Yeah. I got, I've got. i got so many of these silly magic coins in the last, I think, what, last week or two? I think I've got, like, four or five of these things now it is insane um i don't know if you guys have seen this one yet but this one has a the mexican uh half dollar and the night 1984 kennedy which i thought was pretty cool uh, i got a few of them i don't know if i have i don't know what all i have up here oh, there's a 19 there's a 1967 just sitting here oh this is the scarface one i think i had from the from a video uh 
couple videos back. I got all sorts of stuff sitting just sitting on my desk. My desk needs to be cleaned. I got some silver just sitting here. But uh, that's one of the, the magic coin or coin saves or whatever you want to call them that I've just recently found. All right. Let's see. I found my first silver dime and two wheat pennies metal detecting last weekend. That's from Dalton Fancher. That's awesome. I actually really want to get uh, a metal detector again. I used to have one when I was younger, and I, I've actually found some really cool stuff. I've, I uh, went to an old Catholic church, and I found my first Indian head penny at a Catholic church, and I found an old uh, sterling silver cross. Uh, just a lot of really, really cool stuff from the early 1900s. Uh, I don't see any in this this is what i don't like at all i know how you guys are watching my videos every day and you're like oh he's finding silver he's finding silver but i don't find silver all the time and it and it kind of gives that that illusion that i'm constantly finding good stuff and that's not always the case um it, i just go through a lot of stuff to find the stuff that i do and sometimes I get lucky. Sometimes I get super lucky. I really think it's all about where you are. And uh, I'm in a state where there's a lot of people that retire here. A lot of older people are here. And um, I know I've said it before, but the generation gaps, uh, when somebody passes and uh, they get all of their their holdings, uh, you know, the, a lot of the kids today, they don't they don't even realize that that some of our coins used to be made of silver, like much less, you know, the value of, of the coins that they have in their hand. And they just go and dump them in a coin star and they go back into circulation. And uh, what's that? Hold on one second. Thought I saw. No, nope, it's a, I thought it said 1960. It's 1980. It tricked me. I don't see any in this. But anyway, so, you know, that, Silver gets back in the circulation, and it happens all the time. Um, and I'm sure it will continue to do it, uh, especially as uh, you know the generation gap becomes more and more uh, from from back in the day in the '60s when silver used to be the the standard. So, let's see. Uh, sorry, I, I'm I'm probably talking so much, and I'm not reading uh, so much. Let's see. I but what's the significance of wheat pennies, uh, Cynthia? I, I know you asked that before. Uh, I think the fun with wheat pennies, and I know they're not, you know, they're not worth a ton of money uh, unless you find key dates. But the the thing that's fun with wheat pennies is every box you find something. Uh, it's probably more of a thing for younger kids. Uh, if you wanted to do something with your family and start something uh, like a family tradition, kind of like a game night, that's something you can do with your kids, and they're going to remember that. I mean, I'm 45 years old, and and I remember certain things that I did with my dad, and uh, it's going to bring, it's just going to create happy memories for uh, and, and create a family environment and family bonding um, more so than making money. Obviously, I'm profiting off of it. It's just fun. Um, and the cool thing about wheat pennies is you can still find hundred year old coins. I find century old coins in like one out of two boxes, I bet. Like how cool is that to to open up a, a roll of pennies and find something from like 1910 and you're like, man, this coin is hundred years old. Like what you know, what did this coin go through? Like think of the history that that's behind that coin, you know, that it's gone through. It's pretty crazy. Uh, and that's pretty much, you know, the significance, I guess, of the wheat pennies. I don't know. It's just the history, I think. I think it's cool. Uh, sorry, I'm still talking a lot. How do you clean your coins? This is how I clean my coins. Don't clean your coins. <laughs> Uh, you should never clean your coins. If you really, really, really have to clean something, uh, I've heard that you should dip it in alcohol and uh, don't rub it, pat it with like a very, very soft, uh, maybe like a microfiber type thing 
and just let the alcohol evaporate and then just pat it dry because you don't you don't want to do any rubbing because that will actually create uh, scratches in the coin and and make your coin worth less. Let's see here what we got. Not seeing anything here, but 99.9% .9 of the time, don't clean your coins because you're going to end up rubbing off all the patina, all of the, you know, the luster of the coin and, and the, the patina of it. And that takes away it from its value. So most people want, they want the coin like an original state. So that's my, that is my uh, opinion on cleaning coins. And it's, I, I think it's probably a lot of people's opinion, honestly. So, let's see what we got here. Man, I want to find something. I want to find something cool. I'm, I'm just glad I got this thing to work. And uh, actually, Snacks got it to work for me because I begged him. I was like, please, please, please help me get this to work. I've been dying to talk to people on here and uh, get this going. And uh, I'm definitely going to start ordering some... Uh, some half dollars and uh we're definitely gonna find some silver live i promise you i promise you that i may i make that promise right now it will happen so let me look here and see 75 and i'm sorry you know um another thing i was wanting to tell you guys is that uh I try to comment on as many comments as I can on the videos. It's I've been so busy, and because uh, I'm starting to get tons and tons more people uh, commenting on my stuff, it is really, really hard. I, there's some days where I sit there for like a half an hour, and all I do is work on trying to, you know, comment back to you guys and answer questions. And I apologize if I can't get to everybody. I I do try to to answer as much as I can. Um, and another thing I've been talking about doing is uh, getting a post office box. So you, if you guys want to send mail, fan mail or stuff like that, uh, I thought that'd be fun to do. Let's see. If, uh, let's see. Are there certain banks that are better than others? Uh, obviously, yes. That's a definite yes. You need to contact the banks that are in your area and figure out which one is best for you. Uh, Bank of America seems to be pretty good, so I would check them out first. Uh, would asking cashiers for old coins be better than bank tellers boxes? Love your videos, by the way. That's from Boba Fett. Um, Boba, I would say anytime that you're anywhere that's trans uh, money's being transactioned, you can ask them. Just say, hey, you know, um, make a relationship with those people, and if they don't collect, that's what I do. I ask them, hey, do you collect coins? They're like, no. I'm like, hey, well, if you ever see any older coins in your till, can you hold them for me? And I'll, you know, every day, you know, when I come by, I'll pick them up. And I've done that before at places. Uh, I have a Publix that holds over all, they hold all the foreign coins for me. And I actually got a silver half dollar from, um, where was it? It was from Canada. And they didn't even know it was silver. And I, so I got a silver half dollar from Canada, which was really, really cool. So make, you know, make friends with your tellers and, and anybody else, the cashiers, they will, they will absolutely save this stuff for you. They don't, if people don't collect coins, they don't really care about them. And uh, they, they just, they don't care. And they'll totally save them for you. It'll, it will work, I promise. Let's see, let's see what we've got here. I have a little tube of Indian heads that, I don't know why, but that makes me laugh just to hear that, the way that was said um that's really awesome i've actually found a couple of indian heads so far about i can't remember exactly how many uh snacks actually found his very first indian head a couple what was it a week ago i think it was and it was funny because he was helping me open some boxes of pennies and i totally thought he was messing with me um he put it in my hand he's like hey I, I, he found three wheat penny well he thought it was a wheat penny uh, he put three of them in my hand that he found in a roll and I looked at it and I was like, you did not find this. I was like, you're, I was, I wanted to call him a liar, but I was on, you know, I was, I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. And he, he, he's kind of new to collecting. So he's not, you know, as familiar with coins as I am, obviously, you know, people make mistakes. 
and uh, he thought it was a wheat penny back. He didn't look at the front of it, and it was an Indian head. So that was his very first Indian head penny. He got to keep that one. Um, we do split up the coins. Just depends. Like, if, you know, if I go and buy a box of coins, then, yeah, they're obviously mine. But a lot of times we hunt together, and anything we find, we just split. And I th it's just more fun. It's more fun to have somebody to go do it with. Uh, you know, I could do it all by myself, I guess, and and keep all the money and everything. But it's way more fun to, to have somebody to do it with. And somebody – and, you know, he wasn't real into it at first, but then he saw, like – how much fun it was and you know you can make a little money and uh, he, he got kind of excited about it and he's like dude i, I, I kind of want to do it too and i was like well let's do it so <laughs> cynthia says po box is a good idea i will definitely uh try to do that ear to ear tv anything older than 65 64 and older uh silver and stacking and sonic hey you know my bank told just told me they are going to start charging me to order boxes. You know what? That's funny is because uh, Chase is trying to get me uh, basically to do the same thing. They want me to switch over to a business account so that they can charge me because they, they don't want to give me boxes anymore. And uh, I'll tell you what I just found out. Bank of America, uh, is, at least here in Florida, they're really, really um, – they're, they're very friendly people and – uh, they really want my my money, my business, and they're telling me that they will order as many boxes as I want. And all they do is they uh, they said you don't even have to roll them up. You, they give you bank deposit bags. You dump them in the bags and take them in, and they go off to a coin counting place, and then they just deposit that money directly back into your account. So that's something I'm looking at very soon to uh, to do. I'm gonna switch these out real quick. I didn't see anything. Uh, bank versus Publix. Which one has given you more silver? Uh, honestly, uh, about the same. However, um, I think Publix. I've had just better percentage luck with uh, with and bank boxes. I go through more boxes with a uh, you know less silver. But then once in a while, I'll hit like a big score. Uh, I found 51, 40 uh, percenters, uh, something like that, 50, 40 percenters in one box and one 90 percenter in one box one time. Uh, I've had other boxes that have had like 20 uh, and more. So, and But in the Publix, I, I look through less money and find more silver. Uh, but it's very, very hard to do, guys. The, the Publix thing is becoming harder and harder to do every day. Uh, which is why I haven't been doing a whole lot of them. A lot of the management have uh, stopped selling, and it's becoming harder and harder to do. Um, so I'm I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, honestly. Yet, uh, I'm just gonna let it go until uh, they don't want to sell to me anymore, and then I'll figure out something else. So, got right here. Give me something. Give me some silver. I need some silver. I'm having silver withdrawals. I have a whole nother box of uh, dimes to do. I'll probably do them tomorrow. Let's see. It'd be fun to find like a. I've never, I've never got a barber uh, dime yet. At least not in a roll. Let's see. I've gotten, I think, I can't remember if I got a Mercury yet or not. I've only found a few silver dimes so far. But I did I did get some, uh, I, did, I, got, I know I got a Mercury dime in a bank bag one time, uh, which is pretty crazy because uh, the the bank bags, you get uh, the, the error coins or the reject coins, sometimes they end up going into the half dollar bag, and I get a ton of like these, just crazy random coins that you just never know what you're gonna find in those bags. Uh, got a whole drawer full of them. Let's see if we got anything here. Seventy-seven. What is that? Sixty something here. Uh, Sixty-seven. No good. I'll even take an error coin. That'd be awesome. Maybe get something cool. No, oh, I don't see anything in this. I'll switch it out. So what do you what are you guys finding out there? Anybody finding anything super awesome? 
I haven't had any major old stuff uh, lately. I, 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 a couple of Indian head pennies. Um, I'm trying to think what else. <laughs> Someone says they found a seventeen twenty one five dollar gold coin that was from Fisherman. That would be amazing. Um, I have never, ever, ever found a gold coin yet, and I keep hoping that one day I'm going to find a reject coin in my half dollars. That would be so cool to find a gold coin, and it could totally happen. I found uh, two large cents in a uh, half dollar bag. Uh, they just got rejected, and it went into that bag, and I couldn't believe it. I was, like, floored that I found, you know, copper cents from the 1850s. It was crazy. Uh, I need to get a metal detector, though. That would be awesome. Just found seven silver quarters. Video is on my channel. Check it out. U.S. Coin Collector. That's awesome. Uh, was, was that in, like, boxes? Or are you talking about uh, uh, metal detecting? Let's see. James Fioka. Barber Merck and a few Roosevelt dimes today. So far in, on nickels now, one more so far, but I'll take the dime trifecta. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see, nickels. I did recently find uh, silver. I think it was a silver war time, and I found a couple buffaloes. So that was pretty awesome. And here's one that's been, looks like somebody chewed on it. Uh, I've been finding a lot of buffaloes lately, too. Uh, Snacks actually found a buffalo nickel at Popeye's, or it was it Popeye's or Church's Chicken. He got it back in his uh, change, which was pretty awesome. Um, so, like I'm telling you, it's it's out there. It's out there to be found. Uh, people still have no clue what they have in their hands or what's in their till. Uh, if you can find a buffalo nickel in circulation like that, that's pretty crazy. Just to get it back in change. There's a 1967. 85. All right. Uh, I don't see anything in here. I'm going to continue going. Oh, metal detector. Oh, really? I got your last name uh, perfect. That's awesome. Fioka. Maybe I'm uh, must be part of town. It sounds Italian, uh, I'm guessing. The AT Pro is a great detector. I have actually heard that. Uh, I haven't started... Uh, well, I've, I've looked at metal detectors. I haven't really done any comparing yet to find out which one's going to be the best for me in my situation. Uh, because I am... Ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, right here. This might be silver. Let me see. Oh, lame. I just got a Canadian. Oh, Canada. Every time they get me. 2011. Wah, wah. I, thought I, I thought I had a silver. Darn it. Oh, well. All right, what can you do? That, that would have been awesome to get one live. I've gotten, <laughs> I've gotten psyched out by uh, Canadians all the time. Uh, oh well. <laughs> oh, he says it is Italian. It sounded, it sounded Italian. Italian. All right, let's keep looking here. Darn it! I thought I had one. That would have been awesome. So I have some questions for everybody. Um, I, you know, I really research my my videos and make, and to see what I can do to make them better for everybody to you know more watchable. Um, I know sometimes the videos get really long, and uh, sometimes there's just not a whole lot I can do about cutting them down uh, because I really feel like um, when I open up the when I when I'm opening up the rolls, I like to have the let you guys see that I'm that I'm not cheating that you know that I'm opening the rolls to give it you know more legitimacy I guess 
is what I, I guess the word that I'm looking for. Uh, but I want to make make the the videos a little shorter for you guys because it seems like people are skipping through the videos a lot, and um, the more you skip through my videos, the, the the harder it is for me to get my videos out on YouTube because they take into account for how much of the content that you guys watch on my videos. So it, the the longer I keep you on, you know, watching the video, the better for me. Uh, it helps me get the my uh, higher up in the placement, I guess, when the when my videos go on on YouTube. So it really helps me out if you guys don't skip through and watch the entire video. And uh, I just wanted to see, you know, what do you guys think? Um, what do you guys like to watch? Is it, do you guys feel like they're just too long or is it the boring parts that I should cut out? Any idea, any suggestions would really be helpful. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys at all, obviously. I want to keep you entertained. Uh, I don't see anything here. We talk about boring. I'm not finding nothing, except for Canadians. But uh, let me know what, what you guys think. If, if, if I can do something better, make it more fun for you guys to watch. Uh, I like that in your vids, why I watch. What a... A bearer star. Oh, the the star notes. Yeah, I do have a couple of star notes. Um, I still continue to look for them at work. I find quite a few of them actually. Uh, I just recently found a twenty dollars star note, uh, which are a little harder to find. The the higher up the the value of the bill, the harder they are to find, just because uh, they don't make as many. So one dollar ones are really easy to find because they make a ton of one dollar bills. So. Let's see what we've got in this. Mm, don't see anything. But uh, I and I have found uh, silver certificates as well. I actually found uh, I think it was like nine or ten of them uh, that I got at a bank. Just uh, this was probably three or four months back. Quite a few of them. It's in one of my older videos. You guys should check out my older videos. Uh, I have a lot of really good finds that I know. A lot of you have not seen uh, because they're older videos. Um, you should really go check them out. My actually, my very first video I ever put up, uh, snacks, and I stopped at a bank and I ran in and got a couple. Uh, I ran in and got a couple of uh, rolls that they had. It was like two young girls uh, were the clerks, and they must not have had any clue about silver because I found. Like I think it was like 17, 40% uh, uh, coins. Let's see what that is. That one really looked like it might be. Let's see here. 67. No, not quite. But uh, there's another 67. But yeah, like that's why I love seeing the uh, the younger people at the banks because they generally don't have whole lot of clue about what's uh, what's coming in and out of their banks. So. Let's see. It, it, it's a $20 star note worth any more. Found one, just got a $1 star note literally a minute ago. Um, like I said before, the, the higher the value, or I'm sorry, the higher the denomination uh, of the star note, uh, the more rare I think it is, and I, it, I, I'm not exactly sure on that, but I think that's correct because there are fewer of them. So, you know, if it's a, you know, let's let's say uh, the government prints, you know, three billion one dollar bills for twenty dollar bills, they're going to print a lot less because they don't need as many, um, and so they're they're harder to find. I've actually found a hundred dollar uh, star note. And it's one of the new. It was one of the newer ones, and supposedly those are pretty hard to find. I see them on eBay, uh, going for a little, a little bit of money, but not not crazy. I don't think you know. It, I think what makes them even more collectible is the serial numbers too. Uh, if you can find the star notes with the really low serial numbers, that's what really helps uh, add value to those star notes. A bearer, a bearer bill. So a silver certificate is a bearer. Yeah, it will pay the bearer on demand, uh, depending on what denomination you have. That much in silver, and that's what originally they were for. 
uh, you could take them into any bank and they would, it was basically an agreement by the government that they would give you, uh, if you brought in a silver dollar silver certificate, they would give you a dollar in silver. And it was a guarantee that our government made that you could get silver, um, which they just, they don't do that anymore. <laughs> That's why it's really nice to have a little, you know, stack a little silver on the side just in case. You just never know what's going to happen. Uh, my dad actually has quite a bit of silver uh, stacked away. He uh, he stacks silver uh, dollars, actually. He has the old silver dollars, the Morgans. Uh, I love the Morgans, actually. Uh, they're probably one of my favorite coins. They just, the artwork on them is amazing. Uh, the half dollars are my next favorite um, and the the reason I like the half dollars is they're so easy to find um, I know not not all not all areas it's very uh, it's not very easy to find them in all the areas but uh, around here they're certainly pretty easy to find silver uh, I generally find some every week and uh, sometimes it's just a couple and sometimes it's a bunch so and uh, for those of you in those harder areas, you know, the bigger cities where it's, I, I think there's probably just more people doing it. You might, whenever you go on vacation or you go on a long trip, hit up, you know, some smaller towns and, or some more rural areas. And uh, you might be able to find a lot more that way. Let's dump these. Well, but right now I'm not finding a whole lot of silver here. All I managed to find was a Canadian. <laughs> you found a radar and a binary bill hunting recently. That's pretty awesome. I have not found a radar yet, which is surprisingly as much bills as I go through. Oh, oh, no, never mind. I thought I, I thought I had something, but it's not. It's a false alarm. Um, I have not found a, a radar yet, or or like a ladder, which I thought would, I figured I'd find one by now, but. Uh, I have found some uh, binary uh, bills and several tri trinary, uh, but nothing like all solid one number or uh, the ladder going up or down. There's a bunch of different ones that you can find. A lot of people like the ones with uh, the, their birthdays in them. So if you find ones that have like, uh, say, 0204, you know, 1984, uh, stuff like that. People will buy those on eBay uh, if they have a birthday number in there, or if their birth dates in it. Little things like that. Just, just kind of research them and find out what's valuable or what people are willing to pay for. Let's see what we've got here. Come on, give me something. They're making me work for it today, guys. And I don't see anything in here. I honestly haven't seen very many of the, the I, mean, I believe it's the 69s. Um, some of the 69s have the uh, the proof back on the back of them with the, the torch has uh, more detail, and that's supposed to be an error. I've actually found one. Uh, I've got one in my collection now. Let's see. How much is silver worth per G over there, ATM? I'm guessing that's gram. I'm, Silver, uh, I'm not real sure what the gram is. I, the last time I looked per ounce, it was 18-something. Uh, not sure. <laughs> ear to ear TV, Eddie, got to get that Snickers priorities. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Dude, I love Snickers. That's, that's like my favorite. That's awesome. 18 per ounce right now, yeah, that's, that's about what I thought last time I looked, anyway. Question, I'm saving my copper as I coin roll the pennies just because people say save the copper. My question is what to do with them and when. Uh, honestly, it's not something that's probably going to happen overnight. You're going to have to hold on to it for a while, uh, but I would definitely would hold on to it um, because, you know, copper could jump real fast and like I, I actually touched on this earlier 
um, try going on uh, Craigslist and uh, just posting that you know you have you know sell it by that you can sell it by the pound or by you know the, the coin I guess I don't know there's probably a couple of different ways you can sell it but uh, I would try Craigslist if you want to get rid of it see if there's some some silver stackers or copper stackers out there that are interested in buying it uh, right now I'm planning on holding mine I've got several boxes of it already uh, because silver will probably, you know, I'm, history has proven that precious metals are going to continue to keep going up. And, uh, you know, they might be down right now, but it will cycle and they will go back up. Silver was all the way up to almost, what, $40 an ounce. Uh, and I'm holding on to my silver until it goes back up again. And when it goes up to, to, to $40 an ounce, I'm probably going to sell it. And I'm going to, you know, make out make out with a little bit of money, hopefully. That's the plan anyway, and I'm probably going to hold some back uh, just to keep, just in case, uh, just because it's, it's you know, fractional currency. Um, it's good to have some, uh, you know, dimes, quarters, half dollars, you know, in silver and some of the, the silver uh, dollars. Um, just in case something were to happen, it's just an easy way to barter. Uh, and that's really what people want it for is for bartering if... Uh, if our economy goes, you know, down south, and it's just a way of, uh, it's like what we used to do back in, you know, in the early, early history, you know, we used coins, and uh, if, uh, you know, like, that's why they cut, they cut coins is because, uh, you know, that you buy a, a chicken, and it's all, they, they only need, like, half a silver, so they cut your silver in half, and they give you the other half, I mean, so it's just, Keeping it in dimes and nickels and quarters is just a way of having it fractional already, so you don't have to do the cutting, which is awesome. You know, it makes it a lot easier and it's more uh, consistent as well. Because who's to say that they didn't cut your coin in half, but gave themselves a bigger half? You know, it's just, you know, whatever. It's a, it's just a consistent way of being able to barter. Uh, shout out, please, Carter Webb. You just got a shout out. <laughs> I feel like I was a radio announcer there. Right now we have Carter Webb with a shout out. Anyway, um, that was weird. <laughs> so we dump these. Let's grab another roll. Having fun. This is awesome. I'm really enjoying this, guys. Looks like we only have 29 viewers right now. So I don't know if I scared them off or what, but uh, hopefully you guys are having fun at least. Uh, chatting. I don't know. I think chatting is a lot of fun on here. Cynthia's always got something to say here. <laughs> My bank magnet is FS family. I can get all boxes I want if they are available to her. She has ordered 2017 pennies, just not gotten any in yet. I have um, been trying to get some 2017s. I've done everything I could possibly do to get 2017 peas. And uh, it's like impossible right now. Um, I've got several tellers working on it for me. And uh, so far, the only 2017s that I have, I actually found three of them in circulation already. And I did check them for any type of errors and I didn't find anything yet. But uh, I did a, a video on the 2017 errors that you can start uh, finding. And if you go back a couple videos, I just recently posted about a week ago. So check it, check that out. And uh, mainly right now, the only things that they're really finding are the cuds and uh, die cracks and things of that nature, errors like that. Um, some people consider them errors. Some people don't. Um, a die to me a die crack is an error because it, that's something that they don't want going through uh, and if they catch it they pull it off so to me that's an error um, so definitely check your 2017s um, they're really hot right now especially on eBay if you can get a hold of them man you know get them on eBay as quick as you can because uh, you can make some money with them and uh, Obviously, later on throughout the year, they're going to be easier to get, and they're going to be uh, easier to get, 
uh, and the, the price of them is probably going to go down. But you just never know. You just don't know. They're only going to do that for one year. So <laughs> Eddie says it's worth a cent. <laughs> it's definitely worth a cent. Face value. So let me grab another roll. We're getting down. We've got about 10 more rolls to go through here, guys. This has been pretty fun for my very first uh, live broadcast. I feel like it's going pretty well. Ooh, what is that? I got something weird here. I have something weird. Let's see what it is. I think it's going to be foreign. I think I have something foreign. Let's see. Oh, it's not. How weird. I really thought it was going to be, but it, it doesn't have a... So 2011. Let's see here. What's going on with this? Maybe somebody tried to... I don't know. It, it's missing all of the reading on the edge, and it looks flat. So I thought it was going to be foreign. Because uh, dimes, I usually don't, aren't missing all the reading like that, especially a new one like that. And it feels raised. The edge of it feels raised on it. So I'm going to hold that one to the side. Uh, I'll just check it out a little bit later. Uh, it's an interesting find, and uh, see if I can find out anything about it. But I thought it was going to be foreign, but it ended up being not. <clears throat> All right, come on, give me some silver. I want some silver. I hope you guys are finding some. Is anybody else out there opening boxes of pennies? Because I really, I can honestly say 100% that I really enjoy doing boxes of pennies now. And at first I thought this is kind of... I thought, eh, it's not going to be fun. And, uh, it, and it, to me, it's probably even more fun than half dollars just because, like I said earlier, you can find way more stuff. You get way more finds in a box of pennies. You always find something fun. So I don't know. It's just something I really enjoy now. But obviously, I'm, gonna, I'm continuing the uh, search for silver as much as possible. All right, let's see what we got here. And I've actually found quite a few of the pennies from like 1917, 1918, uh, a couple of couple of them from 1920s. So I'm finding some good stuff. I gave you a thumbs up for the shout out. Oh, thanks, Carter. I appreciate that. Uh, ear to ear TV. I gave you a thumbs up for the awesome history lesson. <laughs> thanks, man. Um, I'm. I feel like I'm just rambling a little bit, but at the same time, I'm trying to give you guys some info. I hope it. Hope it's helping. Anyway, I try to give you guys information in my videos. Uh, like I said, I'm not an expert by any means, but uh, the information that I can share, I try to. So it helps you guys uh, find more silver, which is probably not a good thing for me. You guys start finding all the silver, and then I won't find any. <laughs> oh, I just oh, I just got what is that? I just got something cool. Hold on, guys. I just got something cool. I don't know what it is yet, but it looks really cool. But at first, it looked gold. What is this? I'm going to make sure that wasn't silver because that looks silver. What is this? This is tiny. Look at this coin I got. It looks like a scarab or something. What is I got to use a magnifying glass. Oh, it's 2008, so it's not old. What is that? It's a dime of some sort. Let me see if I can get a, a country. Uh, man, I can't even I can't even read it. It's so tiny. It's like smaller than a dime by almost a third. Um, what is that? I've never seen one of these before. I'm gonna say it's like either German or Dutch, but it's got like an eagle on the front with a shield and a crown. I see an A T R I K A Atrica. Maybe that maybe that means Africa. I don't know. Check that out though. I don't know if I can get this close enough so you guys can see it. But it's very weird. Um, sorry, I can't get it to focus. I was really hoping that you could see it. I don't know what. Like I said, it, it's it's a dime of some type, and it's. But look how small it is compared to a, one of our dimes. It's tiny. 
that just popped out of a dime roll. So that's pretty crazy. I'll save it, see if I can find out some more info on that. That's another thing I really like about doing this is just the cool stuff that you find. That one looks mm, 67. And I was hoping I'd get something out of this. This was just part of a box that I started doing. I hadn't found anything in it. I got skunked on the first half of it. But I just thought I'd keep going. You just never know. I've uh, started off on boxes before and not got anything, and then come down to the very last couple rolls and I actually find something. So there's been times where I just wanted to give up on a box and just say, you know what, I'm just going to take it back to the bank. But continue to look because you just never know. It might be that it might be in that last roll. Never give up. If I had given up. When I first started doing this, after that first box of half dollars that I got, where I got a lot of stuff, it, I had about three or four boxes where I didn't find anything, and I got so frustrated, I almost quit. I was just like, you know, it was a fluke. It's not going to happen again. And literally, the next box, I got another awesome score. So just don't give up on it, guys. Half dollar, you the man. <laughs> Coin Quest. Thanks, Coin Quest. That's awesome. <laughs> I finally got this working. I'm so happy to because uh, I've been wanting to do this guys with you or to do this with you guys. Um, I'm really hoping we'll find some silver live. <laughs> Cynthia went on her potty break. Glad you're back. You didn't uh, you did miss uh, I don't know if you missed it. I found this in my uh, dime roll. It's a gold coin and it's worth thousands of dollars <laughs> i'm joking it's some sort of dime uh like a copper dime or gold or a gold colored dime uh, and i don't know where it's from I, it's so tiny so but it's very cool i'm going to try and get some uh information on it i just don't know what it is it looks like it says uh, atika or something like that on the front it's got a uh, an eagle with a crown and a shield so it's from 2008 so it's not old but it's cool <laughs> Let's see what we got here come on give me something give me something something besides foreign coins I've already got what two foreign coins out of these now I need some silver give me something awesome give me like a seated that would be so cool how awesome would that be to get us seated on live? That would be awesome. Uh, live stream. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we got here. You guys, talk amongst yourselves for a moment while I search through this roll for hidden treasure. It is kind of like a little treasure hunt. I really enjoy it. I think it's so much fun. Something I'm always going to do now. It's funny. I used to do it when I was a kid, and I stopped. And I don't know why I stopped. <clears throat> but I used to hunt. I actually used to hunt uh, the wartime nickels when I was a kid because I knew about them. My dad had told me about them. And I would go to the bank. Every, every week, my dad would give me $2. And I would go buy... Uh, or, uh, was it one roll of nickels and I would go through the nickels and I would look for uh, wartime nickels and I used to find a ton of them when I was a kid you know this is back in the 80s early 80s uh, late 70s uh, I was born in 72 so um, it was something that my family had always done uh, hit my dad's grandmother actually started him on collecting coins they would go buy a bag Back then, you would buy a bag of fifty dollars in pennies, and they would go through the pennies and look for weebies and stuff like that. And uh, actually, when she passed, uh, we cleaned out her house and we found uh, the chest that uh, where all the coins were at. They had something like two hundred silver Morgan dollars. Um, there was just like 
mountains and mountains of wheat pennies and silver dimes and silver nickels and quarters. And my, my grandma was a flea marketer, so she collected a lot of different things and and coins was one of them. She even had some gold ones. Uh, it was really, it, it was amazing actually to, to see all the stuff that they had found when, when, when my dad was a little kid. It was a lot of fun. Very cool. My grandmother was very, very smart, I think, when it came to collecting. I think she just had that. She just knew what to collect, I think. She was a bit of a hoarder, though. <laughs> but I'm glad she was. All right, let's see what we got. Not seeing much in this roll. Come on, I really wanted to find something awesome. That one's stuck together. Somebody put a booger on that one or something. It's stuck. Ugh, it's stuck in my finger. Ugh, it's nasty. I have to wash my hands for sure. That's another thing, guys. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands after the that. There's a 69. I'm going to hold on to that for a second. Make sure you wash your hands after touching all these coins. There's so much nastiness and grossness on these things. Make you, probably make you sick. Um, I definitely wash my hands. and I, I definitely uh, Lysol in my area. Yeah, I, this one doesn't doesn't have the air. I was looking for the... Uh, there's a, I think it's the 69 and the 70, I believe dime that on the back side uh the uh, proof uh die was used on a few of them and it has uh, more detail on the flame and that's what i was looking for uh, but that one did not have it i do have one though i found one it's in my drawer somewhere probably buried under a mountain of uh, foreign coins and wheaties and who knows what else Looks like everybody's getting along pretty well in this uh, chat room. I'm hoping this is something we can do more often. I think it'll be fun. And everybody will get to know each other and maybe make some friendships, some bonds, whatever. Maybe, who knows? Maybe you guys uh, figure out that you're in the same city. Uh, there, I have a couple people in uh, here near me. Um, it'd be kind of cool, I think, to maybe get some uh, people that like metal detect, go out together and uh, do some hunting. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I don't really know a whole lot about the areas here in Florida, but I'm sure you know. I'm sure there are some areas that are definitely from you know the early 1800s or the late 1800s. So there's got to be places to hunt. I just haven't really researched it yet, but I will at some point. And you can always do some beach hunting around here, which would be awesome. Find some rings, uh, maybe even who knows, maybe some pirate treasure or something. I don't know. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Alright. 1968. No good. There's one with a big blob on its face. Another 1969. Let me check the back of it. Nope. No good. On to the next one. I hope you guys are noticing what I'm doing here. I'm using this placemat to move coins from from here to my dump bag, which makes it so much easier and so much faster. Another roll. Come on, give me something. This box of dimes did not like me. I still got let's see, one. Two, oh. Five or six more rolls, guys. I found a few foreign coins, but no silver. Give me something. Give me a mercury. That'd be awesome. So another thing I wanted to talk to you guys is about... Uh, the commercials uh, that you end up getting when you watch my videos. 
Uh, I know a lot of people hate uh, dealing with the commercials. Uh, I try to keep them few and uh, short if I can. Um, I just think, you know, it, it really helps support me um, by, uh, you know, just dealing with them. And I, like I said, I, I try and I know there's people out there that the, they'll try and insert like a bazillion commercials into their stuff. I don't do that. Uh, I try to put very few in mine uh, because I don't, I don't want you guys to have to go through all that, but it does help me, helps me support my channel. Um, helps, it helps me pay for some, my gas sometimes when I go out on hunts and, and believe me, I, I eat up a lot of gas uh, driving to banks to bank. And, uh, like when I go on uh, some of these trips that I do to try and find stuff, um, it just really helps me out. And so I, I hope that you guys will at least put up with it. And I promise, you know, to try and keep them as short as possible, um, and do what I can to, to, to make it, you know, as easy as, it is, as I can for you guys. All right, come on, give me something here. What is going on here? I need my I need my look, good luck bear. Here, it's gonna help me. Next one's gonna have silver in it. I feel it. I'm just gonna double check these though real quick because I didn't see anything. But I'm one of those people that I like to to double check. I don't like to just throw everything side and I've seen too too many times where coins don't look silver and if I had only went by what they look like on the rim I would have missed things um, so I always go through them one at a time plus it, this way you can look for errors too uh, I find a lot of errors actually when I when I go through stuff like this uh, there's a 66 not quite. Just there's a sixty-nine, I think. Let me go check that. One. And it's a sixty. I believe it's a sixty-nine. And then I got one here that's almost looks like a strike through grease because it's really worn and it's new, but I think it's just been ground down. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna pass on that one. I actually found a couple errors now. Uh, found a half dollar uh, on the back side of it. It was a uh, one of the uh, uh, centennial ones or bicentennials, and uh, it was missing a couple letters off the back of it. It was a strike through grease. Uh, found a couple that have been a strike through uh, some sort of object that was crushed into the the half dollar and left an impression. I still haven't figured out what it is yet, but it was really cool. Have you submitted any errors to be authenticated? I have not yet, uh, but I am like 99.9% .9 sure that these errors that I have found are legit. Uh, there's a couple that I found out that were not, but uh, I'd have, I need to pull out some of the old errors that I found. Uh, they're pretty cool, actually. Uh, actually, they might be in... I think they're in some of my older videos. If you go back through some of my old videos, you can see some of the stuff that I found. I think I I try to show them whenever I find them. So, but yeah, I should submit some. Actually, another one that I haven't submitted yet was the uh, the uh, token that I got. Uh, it's a Confederate States of America half dollar token, and it supposedly it's used uh the die that was used to make the token was a prototype that uh the the confederates were going to use to make uh print money with uh, this was back in the civil war times and so this token uh there was only 500 of them made uh there are uh some some uh, fakes out there i've taken it to a coin shop and he was not sure on it. He said that I should send it in. I just haven't done it yet. I don't know why I've sat on it for so long. I started to put it on eBay, and it started going up. You know, the price of it started going up. It was like at 60 bucks, and then I just decided that maybe I shouldn't sell it, and I pulled it off of eBay. 
um, I think I need to, to do some more research on it. And because uh, if it's real, it, you know, it's only what one of five hundred. That would be uh, that would be pretty amazing. So I don't know why I've been sitting on it for so long. I need to do something with it. But uh, either way, even if and if I don't, I could put always always put it on eBay, and I know I'll at least get probably hundred bucks out of it at least because uh, I've seen them sell on there. There's one on there for like fourteen thousand dollars, but it's a real one. I mean, I don't know if mine's real, but I hope it is. Nothing in that rule. Anyone beat my 1827? <laughs> uh, I cannot beat that right now, but I used to have an 1815 large scent. Uh, but I bought it at an auction when I was a kid, so I never, I didn't find it. I wish I had found it. <laughs> be awesome. I did actually find a couple large scents though, uh, about a month ago, from uh, the 18, I believe it was 1850s. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Beaten. <laughs> 1721. Cornet large scent. That's awesome. Yeah, I think mine was a cornet too. I had one from the 50s when I was a kid. Or 1850s when I was a kid. Um, but I would I used to go to auctions when I was a kid and I used to buy all my coins. I never found most most of them anyway. Some of them I did. I used to look for coins. I had a metal detector when I was a kid, but back then they were pretty lame. Uh, it was very hard to find stuff. It, the, the, the discrimination on metal detectors back then was not what they are today. So, all right, let's see what we got here. I've got some really cool places I need to go hunt if I can ever uh, get back home to Kansas and. Uh, there are some places I used to hunt there that I used to find silver just by digging. Uh, I used to dig bottles when I was a kid, and I found a mercury dime. I found silver quarters. I found an old key from a from a uh, it was like a copper key from a uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the the car? The very first car called the like a Model T. I found some really cool stuff at this place. A uh, tornado had hit it back in the, I believe it was the early, early 20, 20s or yeah, maybe late twenties or something like that. And I just found all this cool stuff everywhere, and there's just tons of it. And I need to go in there with a metal detector, but the one that I had just wouldn't work in there. It was just too much garbage. Got to have one with a good discrimination. Uh, I don't see anything. There's an eighty-five. There's a sixty-six. No silver in that. I found a silver quarter today. Can I have it? <laughs> I haven't found a silver quarter uh, yet since I've started hunting. Oh, no, I take that back. I have found a silver quarter. I found a barber uh, quarter. Did I find one or two? I can't remember. Uh, the vi there was a video. Uh, this would have been about a month ago. It was a reject coin in my bank bag. And uh, I got a Mercury Dime and a Barber Quarter. I might have got two. I think I got two of them, two Barber Quarters. In fact, hold on. Let me see. Got so much junk in my drawer here. Let me see what I got. So much garbage in my drawer. I can't see. Mm, I can't find it. Wait, is this it? Let me see. This might be it. Pop this up real quick. Uh, that's all nickels. It's the other one. <laughs> I just have random coins everywhere in my drawers. So much stuff. Um, this one? Maybe it's this one. I think it's this one. <clears throat> I like to use these uh, medicine jars. Just for my crummy coins, I definitely wouldn't use these for good, really good coins. Even though I do have some good coins in here, yeah. Here's here's the oh yeah two barbers. I did find two barbers. These are uh, two barber quarters that I found uh, in a bank bag that Grant had got for me, aka snacks, 
uh, brought home. And uh, he sent me a photo, he, a text. He's like, he looked in the bag and he saw these and he's like, what is, what is this? He says, he said, I think these are silver. And I said, oh my God, yes, those are silver for sure. Um, I couldn't believe that these were in, these were reject coins. These, these should have kicked out into, uh, into the, uh, the, the reject dispenser, but instead they kicked out into the 50 cent bag. So that's pretty awesome to find uh, barber quarters in a, in a bank bag. And I found like, there's a mercury dime. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff in here. I got some buffaloes, a lot of silver dimes. Here's another Merc. I really, I should probably really put these in a, in something a little nicer, but uh, for now they just go in here. I've just got so many coins to deal with right now. I haven't. I need to take uh, take some better care with them. Uh, I will get to it. I promise. Um, but I just have so much stuff going on right now that uh, hopefully I will get to that. There's a there's a wartime nickel. I got a few of those in here. Got some buffaloes. Uh, there's a V neck that I found. That's another thing I, I need to start doing more nickels. Nickels are a lot of fun to do, guys, because you have a really good chance of getting silver and uh, buffalo, uh, especially now that they reissued the new buffaloes. I think people are less likely to see them now, which is pretty awesome. There's, that's the dime I found in uh, the Coinstar recently, or it was like one of my very first Coinstar finds. Uh, I love finding free silver in the Coinstars. Let's pop that back in there. <clears throat> he said, lucky LOL barbers as rejects. I know, that's insane to think that that was a reject coin. And uh, I also got a mercury dime. And the rejects for that for that same bag. How crazy is that? I am getting a sore throat from talking so much. I didn't think that would happen. <clears throat> All right, we got three rolls left, guys. Three rolls left to find some silver. And after that, I'll probably chat for a little bit. And uh, then we'll probably take a break because my throat is kind of getting a little sore. I need to grab <clears throat> some water or something. <coughs> and uh, this will definitely be something I will be doing a lot more of. I'll try to give out notifications uh, as I learn this a little bit more. This is, like I said, this is my very first time trying this, uh, and I'm so far I'm loving it. Uh, I don't think I've ever talked this much in my life before. It's pretty crazy. Let's take a peek here. Let's see if there's anything. That's another 69. Take a peek at it just to see if it's got the error on it. Nope. Not finding much, guys. Just the, the foreign ones. Which I still don't know what they are. But, well, I know the one is Canada, but I don't know what the other one was. Anyone collects world coins? Are you talking about just like foreign coins? I do collect them because I think they're awesome. Um, I actually have some really, really cool ones. I have a, a silver half dollar from Canada, which is probably my favorite, one of my favorite. Uh, foreign coins right now. Uh, it's really cool, the back of it. It's got like a shield with uh, like this crazy, crazy unicorn thing on one side and like a lion or something on the other. It's really awesome. It's just, the design in it is just crazy. <clears throat> Give me something. Come on. I need some silver. Got one, uh, one more roll, guys. After this, I really thought I was going to get something, but I promise you, 
we will I will do this again and we will get something. I'll, I'll next time I'll maybe I'll do like a box of nickels too or something because I always find something in nickels. Mm. Oh, what is that? Uh, sixty-five. I thought it might have been a sixty-three, but it wasn't sixty-five. Usually, it seems like I do a lot better with dimes. I usually at least find one, uh, but I don't see anything in there. Seems like I find at least one silver dime per box, and I, I don't know. This area seems to be really good for finding stuff. I used to have some of the old Nazi coins from the 40s and 30s. Uh, I saw somebody posting about that. Uh, I got them from my aunt. The first ones I've ever seen with the little, they have the little swastika on the back of them. Um, <clears throat> they're really crazy to, to look at. Um, it's just very weird to see them. Uh, they're very cool. Um, obviously, it was something that was truly horrible for for people. and uh, But I still think they're as being part of history they're still interesting and i would still collect them uh because as everybody knows when you forget when you forget the past you're doomed to repeat it so we all we should always remember what had happened back then and uh, i don't know it's very interesting i just think it's cool to to have them um i don't have any right now honestly uh, I, I did have some when i was younger um, and they're just, I don't know, it's just a part of history, and uh, it was horrible, but like I said, we, we have to remember it so that we don't repeat it. All right, this was the last roll. I don't see anything. Uh, let's see. Take one more peek with my magnifying glass just to be sure I don't miss anything. But this one almost looks silver on camera. Let me take a peek at that one. Nope, 67. There's one that's, uh, this one's a little off stamped. Not by much. Uh, I, mean, I probably won't keep that one. 67, there's a 79. Well, I don't see anything. What's this? Nope. Fooled me. 70. All right, that's going to be it. Uh, didn't get any silver this time. Uh, like I said, this is my first time, guys. Uh, we will definitely be trying this again. Um, I'm a little more available now to answer some questions. Um, I'll try and get more involved in the chat here now. See what everybody's talking about. I can flip this back up a little bit so you can see my pretty face. There you go. Enjoy that. <laughs> uh, I know I'm not funny but you know what, what are you going to do <laughs> let's, let's see something about Minecraft I, I'm 45 years old I don't know anything about Minecraft <laughs> uh, I wish I had a gold coin uh, me too I would love to have one. Oh, the one ten, the one tenth maples are nice. I've seen the uh, the one ounce uh, maples. Those are pretty cool. My my buddy got one for Christmas from his aunt. Um, it was pretty awesome. Have I found a 2017 P yet? I don't know if you have, but I have found three of them already. Uh, what's the oldest coin that you have found? Um, ear to ear. Uh, I believe that would be an 18, I think it was the 1892 Christopher Columbus exposition coin from the Chicago World's Fair. Uh, I found one of those in a bank bag, and it's like insane, but I found one. And I've, I've seen other people with them, and I've always wanted one, and I never in my wildest dreams thought I was going to find one, and I did, and I was so happy. And it was in actually it was in really good shape, so like I couldn't have been happier. Do you sell any of your coins right now? I'm not selling any yet. Uh, I've got some people interested in some, but I'm not going to sell them uh, unless I get a D 
decent price for them because um, I'm convinced 100% that silver is going to go back up. It cycles. It goes up and down, up and down. Uh, so right now it's down. It's going to go back up. Do you have an 1887 25 cents Canadian coin? Uh, no, but if you give me one, then I would have one. <laughs> That'd be very cool. Um, I actually just recently did a video on uh, rare Canadian uh, cents uh, because I go through so many coins and I find a lot of Canadian stuff. And I thought, you know what, I need to uh, uh, figure out, you know, make sure I'm not throwing away any good, valuable Canadian coins. So I did a video on the Canadian cents. Uh, come to find out that I think it was the 1936 dot penny uh, is probably the, the most rare, most valuable penny um, from Canada. Uh, and a lot of them from the mid to early 20s are uh, the harder ones to find. And I'll, uh, will you do another giveaway? I do plan on doing another giveaway. Um, I'm just not sure when. I was thinking maybe th at 3,000 uh, subscribers because it's getting there already. Um, I just don't know. I, I, I got some, uh, some coins that I think I would like to give away, uh, especially some of the magic coins. Uh, I think those are really cool. I'd like to give some of those out. I've got a couple of those and I'm definitely going to do something silver, obviously. Uh, I just don't know what yet. Um, just stay tuned for that and watch my videos. I will announce that when it comes, uh, when I'm ready. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to do something at 3,000. So, let's see. A uh, nice T-shirt. Thank you. I love it. Uh, you know what's funny is I, I love this T-shirt and I get so many compliments on it. I haven't seen the movie in years, and I've literally like people try to reference the movie to me, and I don't even get it anymore because it's been so long since I've seen the movie. I need to watch it again because it, it's a classic movie. It's a great movie. It's just been so long I've forgotten a lot of it. So. Uh, I found like two thousand dollar or two hundred face value in old dollar coins worth anything. Uh, well, it depends on what old dollar coins you're talking about. Are you talking about Ikes? Are you talking about peace dollars or Morgans? Um, I found I just recently found like sixty of the Ikes uh, in rolls, um, and they definitely have they're definitely worth more than face value. I think right now the Ikes are like a dollar forty nine a piece. Uh, but there are silver Ikes. They're really, they call them tricky Ikes um, because there's a reason. Uh, just trying to figure out which ones are silver is very tricky. Uh, just look up uh, look up some information on the internet. It's, it'll help you a lot. Uh, there's certain years that are silver, and there's they have to be a certain mint mark. And uh, it, like I said, they're tricky. So, but obviously, yeah, if it, if you found some peace dollars or Morgans. Uh, definitely came up for sure <laughs> let's see it's 308 in the morning there wow where you must be uh over in the uk or let's see i'm trying to think which way that would be yeah that's either like ireland or like the uk possibly i'm not sure um have a 1960 silver color penny Three grams, huh? I don't know. Nineteen sixty. Uh, I've seen some other crazy stuff where uh, people stamp into coins and uh, they color them. They do all sorts of crazy stuff. So you just have to do some, you know, research online and see what you got. I have a double-sided Kennedy dead. I don't know if that means a Kennedy head or, but I actually found a, a double-sided Kennedy. A couple of them now. Um, let's see if I got what I got here. Oh, no, I don't even know if I have it up here. Oh yeah, here's here's one right here. Um, this one's double sided. Uh, it's got tails on that side and tails on that side. And I think this one's actually made of silver. Um, it's pretty cool. I love it. I show it to a lot of people. Uh, found a couple of these now. Um, here's another thing I just recently found. I found this pretty awesome. It's an old uh, English penny. I think this one was from 1966. Yeah, this was from my Peace, Love, and 60. Uh, what was it? Peace, Love, and Silver, uh, the, the 60s video that I did just recently. That was a cool find. I love these old uh, British pennies. Those are awesome. 
I have a dime without a back. Uh, I would definitely get that checked out. You definitely want to get that sent in and appraised um, because it could be worth a lot of money. In 1918, Philadelphia Standing Liberty SLQ, what was it? SLQ something in, in, uh, in AU condi uh, circulated condition, more than just 25 bucks. I mean, it, I would assume that's got to be worth a lot more than 25 bucks to have a 1918 SLQ uh, in that kind of condition. Uh, I would definitely, if you if you really have one in that condition, you definitely want to probably send that in and have it graded because uh, that's good. It's got to be worth a lot more than, than that. Oh yeah, head is what I meant. Yep, I figured that's what you meant. Oh, almost uncirculated. It's it still seems like that's got to be worth more than 25 bucks. I don't, I don't know. Like I say, I'm not an expert on coins, but I would definitely have it graded because you just never know. Um, grading is really, really tricky. Um, I would, you know, PCGS. That's what I would do. Um, they have a lady on them from the 1800s era. I, I think I missed something. I'm sorry. Uh, do you know anything about Two Face? Five dollar bills. I've never heard of them. Uh, that'd be interesting to find out about. Maybe I'll read up on that. I'll check it out and see what see what's going on with that. I have a 1873 Buzz Lightyear coin. <laughs> very rare. That that would probably uh, that would be a very rare coin. I bet. I bet. Uh, maybe MS. Don't know. This week was a good week on nickels for me. Found a buffalo and a proof 1971. That's pretty awesome. Anytime you find a buffalo is a good day. Um, like I said uh, earlier, snacks actually got. He he went to church's chicken and he got a buffalo in his change when they gave him back his change, which is pretty crazy. That's pretty awesome. Do you know about Hawaiian or Alaskan paper bills? Uh, no. I'll be honest. I do know that I do know that there were bills printed uh, with Hawaii on the. I think it's on the reverse of the notes, uh, but I don't know a lot about them. I have a blue stamp one dollar bill. Uh, I have some older. Um, I have, I, I know there's like red stamps and blue stamps. I don't know bills very well yet. It's something I really need to to look more on, but um, not real familiar with them. Coin Quest, along with coin roll hunting, do you also buy silver bullion? Uh, I don't buy anything because I'm finding it so so easily. Uh, I don't want to buy anything at all. Uh, my dad does buy. Um, he buys uh, the dollar round uh, coins. Um, but as for me, no, I'm not buying anything. I'm just finding it. Half dollar dude. Hey man, just checking in. Hit another score today. Ninety dollars in forties. That's awesome. That like anytime you anytime you get one one score is you know is, is awesome. But when you find a ton, it's even it just makes it so much better. Uh, the rush that I get when I get uh, a good box is it's just you you can't believe it. I found a you found a roll of buffaloes. That's hard to believe. A roll of buffaloes. I, I want to find a roll of buffaloes. That would be awesome. Are you are you talking the new buffaloes? <laughs> I think change hunting is fun. Pocket change, absolutely. I check my pocket change every every day. Anytime I get change, I check it. Do you save old paper money? Yes, I do. I've got some in my drawer. Um, my drawer is so full of garbage. Let's see if I let's see if I can find them. There's so much stuff in here right now. Uh, there's some, uh, what is that, is it Star Notes? No, I don't even know what this is. Oh yeah, Star Notes. Uh, that's a lower serial number, but I don't know where. Mm, I'm telling you, my, my drawer is so full of coins and stuff, it's ridiculous. Uh, but I do have, uh, some older uh, bills in there that I've got some uh, silver certificates that I found a few months back. Well, guys, um, I hate to break up the party, but um, I got other stuff to do. I got to get to get to sleep. I have uh, work in the morning, and 
hopefully uh, I will do this again very, very soon. Uh, I'll go to the bank uh, and get more boxes of stuff to go through. Um, definitely, what do you guys want? What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see nickels, dimes, quarters? I, I really don't like doing quarters because I feel like most people know uh, old quarters. Um, the half dollars, I think I find the most silver in. Uh, nickels, I find quite a bit of silver. Dimes, I'm starting to find a lot of silver in. Um, I'll definitely get something. Maybe do some pennies. Pennies are fun. Um, but nickels, easily should be able to easily find a silver in that. Maybe a buffalo. So dimes. Another person says dimes. Dimes or pennies. Nickels. All right. Good night, guys. Y'all have a good one. And uh, catch you next time. And happy hunting. And now I have to figure out how to shut this off. <laughs> All right.